Okay, in this video I'm going to do uh, question 3 on exercise 2a. Uh, it's a car starts from rest and accelerates at 3 meters per second. Find its speed when it's traveled a distance of 6 meters. So the first thing we do as normal is we draw our speed time graph. Remember you say what's on the y-axis first. So this is speed. It's not velocity because it's not a vector. It's measured in meters per second. And we have time measured in seconds. Like that. The car starts from rest, so its initial point at time t equal to zero, it's at the origin. And it, uh, it's accelerated to a velocity that we don't know, I'm just going to call that v. It's uniform acceleration, which means it's accelerating in a line, and therefore you can literally draw a point, you can connect points like this. So that, that's all we know so far. Now, if we drop our perpendicular like that, we have an area. Now if you remember, as I said before, that the area underneath the curve of a, of a speed time graph corresponds to the distance. So this total distance here is 6 meters. What's the area of that? Well, that's half the base, which is t, times the perpendicular height, which is v. And we, we actually don't know any of those things, so we can't go about getting, the, uh, getting our answer that way. So we're asked to find the speed on this travel, 6 meters. So we're going to go u, v, a, s, t. I'm actually going to get rid of this because it's in my way. So, what do, we know, uh, what do we know of this? We know that u is equal to 0, v is equal to v, let's say we don't know it. The acceleration we're given at 3 meters per second squared, the distance we're given at 6, and the time we're not given. So, what formula can we use? Uh, can we use this one? v is equal to u plus a t. Do we know v? No. We know this, we, don't know, we do know this, and we don't know this. So we have two variables there that we're missing, so we can't use that. V squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. V squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. The only variable there we don't know is v, so that's perfect. So we're going to go v squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times 3 times 6. 3 6s are 18, uh, 3 18s are 36. V squared is equal to 36. V is equal to square root 36. V is equal to 6 meters per second, or 6 meters per per second written like that. Let's check that at the back of the book. 6. Yeah, the yeah, 6 meters. It actually says the units that's given at the back of the book are, uh, it says, the back of the book says this, which is incorrect because that is a distance. But uh, that's the answer to that. Is there anything else we don't know? Let's just, uh, while we're at it, we may as well find the time. So we know that the distance, or the final speed, is 6 meters per second. So let's get the time. So, uh, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, no, s is equal to u plus v over 2 times t. That might work because it's got a t. s equal to u plus v over 2 times t. So let's go, we go uh, s equal to 6 plus 0 over 2 times t, and that's equal to 6 meters. So that's 6 equal to 3t, like that, t is equal to 2 seconds t is equal to 2 seconds. And just just to, uh, to see if we're on the right track, let's try and get the area, excuse me, of the triangle that we have on the top, half the base by the perpendicular height. The height should be the speed, so it's half the base, we've got the time there a second ago at 2 seconds, by the perpendicular height, which is set of 6, cancel those two out and we get 6 meters, which is exactly what we started with. So we know that we're correct because we've done it two different ways. So I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.